How's it going? As you can see, it's well after dark, middle of the Vermont 2023 rifle season. We're gonna make ourselves a little different style video here. Uh, this is not a hunting video, but we are, I'm on my way over to Keith's house. And we're gonna show you a little behind the scenes on what Keith's really been doing all deer season the last two years started his own little business, Garland Hill Processing, and Keith's been cutting up deer for all the successful uh, New England hunters. Um, and he's actually making a pretty good go of it, but uh, we've been helping him out any chance we get cutting, because poor guy's working a full-time job during the day, and now he's straight out till midnight, one o'clock every night cutting deer. All right, well, we're almost to Keith, so let's see what the boys are up to tonight. Here at Keith's, and it looks like he's got his work cut out for him. There's a bunch of deer. Some nice ones, too. Look at the horns on that. Let's go see the boys that are inside. There's so many deer! Yeah, so Keith's made it out once this year. <laughs> he saw deer before any of us saw deer this year, though. <laughs> he's, he's probably seen the most. They've all been dead, but... Yeah. Hey, you know, most of them are bone on head, too. But, yeah, so this is Keith's little operation he's got going. It's a work in progress, you know. We got, uh, I think they've had 20, 26 deer in here at once. Pack. This is not a very big, like, what's. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 21, 20 hanging. Yeah, there's 21 hanging, and you've had 25 inside and 5 outside. Yeah. Before. But. Yep. Yeah, you couldn't get enough cutting meat at work, so you decided... Why not do it at night, too? Yeah, do it at night. Nights and weekends and everywhere in between. Which it's a far cry from what it used to be when he used to just cut deer for us. I was going to say, I found the pictures. Maybe I can dig them out of my computer. I saw them last night. We were cutting, uh, I think it was my last archery deer in the garage on plastic tables with the, with the furnace going. And the, plas or, the plastic Keith's, tables were an upgrade. Yeah, yeah. Or Keith's, did a couple in Keith's basement too. That's where he started. Oh, yeah. but we I did one in Keith's backyard. <laughs> and I don't know when it was, but it was cold. <laughs> but, uh, you remember that little, that was oh, yeah. one of the four pointers. Yeah. But it used to be just a little Amazon vacuum sealer. Yeah, with the Cabela's a, vacuum sealer. With a little yeah. tiny I don't know how big, how big a grinder it was. Half a horsepower or something? Yeah. Quarter horsepower? It would take us about four hours to do one deer. Eventually we started... Keith started collecting vacuum sealers, just kind of the cheap ones, because if you've done a deer on your own, you try to do a bunch of sealing at once, they get pretty warm and they overheat and then they won't seal. you got to let them cool down. So we would cycle through them and... Yep. Do one till I heat it up and do the next. And normally, at the end of it, you were still waiting for them to all cool down. But then last year, Keith was nice enough to build us this nice insulated shed that's got an AC unit in it, keep it cool. Doesn't turn the heat on. Uh, My hand gets frozen here. <laughs> got a perfectly good heater right here. Yeah, I haven't turned the heater on yet. The, heat, the heater's for the office. Got some really nice commercial. <laughs> <This> summer? <laughs> yeah. I'll January. Keep the bait fish alive. Right. But, yeah. It's kind of nice having a commercial grade vacuum sealers and grinder. Really put, <laughs> really put some deer. But how many deer have you done this year so far? Oh, over a hundred. How many bears? Nine. Yeah. I think. And it's November 21st. So there's, so there's only halfway through deer season, really. Yeah, and there's uh, a long week. Thanksgiving's on a Thursday this year. Most people probably have a three or four day weekend. 
So there's gonna be some deer killed. Probably there. some more deer killed. We're supposed to get some snow tonight. So three to five inches, I, actually. I am not a smart man, but I'm pretty sure Thanksgiving is Thursday every year. <laughs> <laughs> I I just don't go to work when they tell me. So what would yeah. you say about the deer harvest this year so far? What have you been noticing? Well, all the ones he's got have been dead. Yeah, that's. <laughs> Been a lot of nice 170 pound eight pointers. Yeah, it was like fairly decent racks. Yes. Yeah. Like last year, there was definitely a lot of like year and a half old spike horns, three pointers. Yes. 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 Seems to be a lot more nicer deer this year. You check out the weight on that. There's a deer hanging over there, tagged Grady. You've heard of ground shrinkage before? This thing blew up. <laughs> Here. Look at that. 1119 Grady. Hanging weight. Thousand, Thousand pounds, oh, baby. Wow. She really she, blew she up. She really blew up. At some point we'll probably do some videos with a little more in-depth on the whole process of what happens to your deer when you bring it to teeth and yep. all the different options you got. He's pretty good at what he does, so he may have some tips and tricks that could speed up the process if you're doing it at home. Also kind of nice to have all the nice equipment. Makes it go a lot easier. For sure.